for an example of where land expropriation without compensation has failed, looking at Zimbabwe, which was once known as the breadbasket of Africa and now being referred to as uh, the basket case of, Af of Africa. Um, many argue that uh, South Africa really has to tread very carefully when it comes to the issue of land expropriation with co without compensation, as this may also affect uh, foreign direct investment coming into, into the country. The president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has admittedly said that South Africa relies heavily on foreign direct investment. Uh, but now many economists argue that this may make uh, investors very nervous, especially as there being no clear guidelines or clear policy in as far as how South Africa is going to achieve this land expropriation without compensation. So we know that banks and other institutions have warned about the implications for the broader economy with this move. What's your take? Well, with, uh, with the banks, one question that really comes to mind is uh, if you are going to give people land, um, people actually need capital to help work the land. So now people would actually approach the banks for, uh, for, for getting loans to actually get that, uh, that, that required capital. This would mean that they'd use... The, uh, they'd use the land as collateral to pay off these loans, meaning that essentially they don't own this land, the fact that they are now renting this land. Uh, so there are many concerns as far as how sustainable uh, this, this mechanism will be, especially when it comes to the effects that, that it's going to have on the banking, banking sector in the country. And we know that President Ramaphosa has made this a priority for his government, but how delicate is it for him to try and balance his political and economic goals with this very sensitive issue, and why? The president has to play a very careful balancing act here, especially when uh, it comes to reviewing uh, Section 25 of the Constitution that actually deals with uh, the, the property rights. Uh, so now you have many people in South Africa seeking land as opposed to those who are already owning this land. So basically what he has to balance out is uh, how does one ensure that those who currently own land don't have their rights infringed? And how is the government going to handle that careful transition of ensuring that uh, this, 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 this policy actually benefits the poor, which is it, it, essentially th this policy is aimed at benefiting the country's majority, uh, the, the country's poor people, the majority being black as well. And tell us about what we're seeing with some of these land grabs and some of the protests and the, and the fallout that's followed. Should incidents like what's happening in the town of Hermanus be a concern for the country? Well, what has happened to in, in Amanus has been described as a, a bit of a civil war because now you have people uh, forcefully taking uh, land or grabbing land or occupying certain uh, pot, uh, patches of land in the Western Cape. Uh, people have decided that, look, given the fact that government is now spearheading this whole proposition of land expropriation without, uh, without compensation, let's start doing it ourselves. Government is in the process of fulfilling this policy but people feel that it's long overdue now. So given the uncertainty between now and when a final decision is made, what's your outlook for the potential, potential fallout for the economy? Well, now the potential outlook uh, is one that's very uncertain right now because now government has the very difficult task of actually finding uh, ways of how to see through this uh, land expropriation without compensation bill. MPs or members of parliament have about five months to start preparing arguments as to how this is actually going, going to work. Uh, also to kind of help reassure investors uh, that, uh, look, we do have a clear guideline. Unfortunately, now there isn't one. So it's very unpredictable as to how it's going to go going forward.